Today's pop stars are going commercial crazy, forging bigger deals with the advertising industry than ever before. Many artists of the 60s and 70s viewed such packs as deals with the devil. But the commercial connection was around long before rock and roll. Those pure X products. The shape is the one for you to have. For the pioneers of pop, doing ads came with the territory. Pop, pop, is fit. Oh, what a relief it is. From the very beginning in the 50s into the 60s, um, any kind of connection an artist had with television or radio usually involved hawking some kind of product. Born to be wild. That didn't change until the late 60s, when rock and roll became the voice of the counterculture. Most rockers had no interest in making deals with the establishment. We're at the peak of the Beatles' power. Better believe these soft drinks firms that we know so well were ringing up. It didn't seem worth it. The whole idea of rock was anti-establishment and anti-commercial. It's nobody here but us monkeys. <laughs> Advertisers were on the lookout for non-threatening feel-good pop. I like to teach the world to sing. In 1972, they found out just how successful this connection could be. This Coca-Cola ad became a pop sensation, and the song recorded...